I just want to welcome you. Thanks for being here. Um, and I think what, uh, what I'll do is uh, have our president, Dr. Tony Fernandez, make an opening comment. Well, uh, uh, as some of you may know that Gary Picone and I just came back from Kansas City where we attended the uh, NAIA National uh, uh, Convention. And uh, we come back with some very, very good news. And they will be announcing uh, simultaneously, as we're announcing now, that the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics uh, has selected Lewis Clark State College in Lewiston to host uh, the Avista uh, NAI World Series through 2016. And I can tell you uh, that we are very, very thankful to the NAIA, to Avista, to our sponsors, to the community, uh, two of the advisory group that traveled with us in December to Kansas City to visit the NAIA. We're thankful to our athletic department and to Gary and Brooke and the college as a whole for the support we've had throughout this bid process. And we are uh, especially thankful to all the fans that have supported us uh, as we uh, uh, again bid for the Vista NAI World Series. And it's a, we're just so proud to be part of that great, great uh, series. And Gary, you want to add something, anything to that? I uh, just that, um, again, I want to uh, be very appreciative of all of the support we got. Um, you know, to me, this is a culmination of about a 15 month effort. Um, I think it was about 15 months ago we sat here and indicated to you that um, the NAI had made a decision to bid the series again. And so uh, 15 months later, here we are. Um, through a lot of efforts of a lot of people and I, I too want to um, point out that in going through this bid process um, although it wasn't something we chose um, was something that I think was really beneficial to us in the end because uh, what we had to do is go out and reconfirm people's commitments to this event from our institution and Tony's support has been unwavering uh, to our title sponsor of VISTA They're, commitment that this is a, an event that's important to them that meant a lot that meant a lot to us and then to confirm with all of our other sponsors our volunteers we engaged an awful lot of people in this effort and the response we got back is as I explained to the NAI is we're not tired we're not bored we're excited we're ready to go we, we can do even better and that's the response we got back so it was very encouraging through this process to get that response. So um, I just want to uh, communicate that, that that was our message to the NEI. Um, we obviously had to put a financial agreement together uh, to host the event, but more than that, we were, this community wants this thing, I think, as much as or more than it ever has. So this is something that's on an upward trend. I think that's why it's been successful here. It's always been approached here by whoever was here, whoever was running the tournament, that we were trying to get better. Um, we approach the event like we do, our, I guess, our athletic programs. We believe athletic programs and events either get better or they get worse. They don't stay the same. And we believe this event continues to get better. So our challenge is to make good on our word that the event will continue to grow and get better. Um, I especially want to thank Brooke for all of her efforts in the bid process. Uh, as the tournament director last year, um, she demonstrated to the NAI community that this event would be exceptionally well run and that she would continue to be the person directing the tournament on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think all of those things culminated in today and so we're excited to be here um, and happy to answer any questions you might have. Gary, did the NAI indicate <coughs> any other competitive bids? How many other bids there were? Do you know that at this point? No. Um, I, got my, I got a thought about it a question. I mean in my mind I've gone over it a hundred times. Um, they communicated to us at one point right. that, that they were going to uh, communicate with others about the commitment to, right. to Lewiston. Um, other than that, I learned no more specifics about other bidders or anything else about the process. You mentioned the opportunity to reevaluate, reconnect with your, and recommit to your partners with the series. Uh, how is this bid different? Is it different from the, the extensions before? Um, it's, it's a little different in kind of its, it, not in its general makeup. What we are excited about is the NAI, is, we made two bids. One was strictly a financial bid with straight dollars. The other was a bid that mirrors our current format, which is to invest most of what we provide to the participating teams. That's the bid they chose. So the teams 
will benefit from the financial uh, contribution we're making back. So the teams will benefit. And so the NAI, uh, through this entire process, was consistent. Their number one goal was to find a place that was the best experience for their student athletes. We approached our bid to try to create the bid that was best for student athletes. And so we're happy about that. They've chosen the bid we would prefer. We made both. Um, so we think we're on the same page with the NEI and trying to make this, continue to make it a great experience for the student athletes that show up. There's some obvious answers to this question, but I want to hear you say it. Uh, what are the benefits for LCS to, to continue hosting the series here in Louisville? Well, I think in the, in, the, in the bid process, one thing you really, I guess you feel the, um, well, you feel how much people care about the event, but there's also tangible benefits in our business community and our, our region. So um, we've done economic impact studies that tell us the value of this event in the community. So um, that is, I mean, Lewis Clark State, um, I think benefits in many, many ways uh, from being the host of this. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's something that our name is on that is viewed positively by an awful lot of people, not only in our area, but throughout the country. Um, it's nice to have a birth in a tournament for our baseball program. That's a benefit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's lots of obvious benefits, but uh, again, Nate, the, what I feel good about is when we asked people about that, they were unwavering in their support. And I, and I, I would add that uh, uh, as a institution, a public supported institution that's an important part of the region and the community. Uh, I think it, it behooves any institution like Lewis Clark State College to step up to the plate and to, and to offer, uh, offer to be a host for an event, event such as this that makes so much sense for the entire, the entire community and the, and the region. And, uh, uh, and, and it's just a lot of fun too. You know? and, uh, we love, we love to, to give this experience to uh, student athletes from across the nation. And I've heard it said, and I won't say who said it, but the NAIA has said that this is one of the best championships that they have. When they come out here and they visit and they see all the teams and all the volunteers and the young children coming up and asking these students for their autograph, these uh, visiting teams start to feel like they're major leaguers when they come to Lewiston. It's, I think, uh, one of the best uh, national championships at any level in collegiate, collegiate sports and that's due to the support that the community and our sponsors and all of our volunteers give uh, to, to, to this series and the college is a great, great partner in all of that with the NAIA and with the VISTA. Thank you. How much of a relief is it to have this finally done? I mentioned 15 months just to <laughs> finally get it done now. Yeah, there's a part of that. Relief's a part of it, no question. I, again, I think because of the responsibility you feel not only to the program and to the school, but to the community. It's, you know, this is a lot bigger than just a few people. And so uh, it comes down to a few people having to, to put things together. But, but yeah, it's, it, it's a relief. And, and what I, I'm excited for, it. if you'd asked me five months ago if we would be sitting here today, would we be feeling, I, I'm more excited about it than I thought I would be. I was thinking it would be more of a relief to get to this point. There is part of it is that, but there's a part of it that says we can go and we can do some special things in the future here. You guys pretty much cinched the deal when you were back in Kansas City, is that right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, to, ex to explain this process would be, yeah, no, we, we did it there, pretty much finalized it there. And it, it, there, was there much to be hashed out here at the final stages, or did they say you guys are the pick and, and that was about it? Well, there, there's a few things that we need to, uh, and, and it's, it's really tweaking uh, some, some of the arrangements that we're going to make. But no, we've been selected. And uh, the, it's, I guess it's, it's one more year than what they were, they put 14 and 15 out there and it's through 16 and uh, was that your guys' idea or was that theirs? How'd that come about? No, uh, that, that, was, that was us. I mean, we wanted, uh, I mean, I believe three years, it has three years, and, and the contract also has the renewable clause in it that we've had before. So at the end of each, each year of the contract, uh, there's a 90-day period to negotiate an extension of that year or any, any part of that contract. So it could be extended by one year, it could be extended by two, three. So that was important to us. And, and uh, so the three years, it wasn't something that they had a concern about. We, we said that was important to us, and they agreed to it pretty, pretty quickly. 
they had mentioned uh, the deal with ESPN3, and where is that with, with you guys? I mean, I guess you guys are open to that, right? Um, yeah, yeah we, we're open to it. Those are the sorts of things we need to grow and develop uh, uh, as, we, as we go along. I don't believe uh, 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 now we're, we're in a, any kind of a position to say we're going to go with that or not. But there are several several ways that we want to uh, televise uh, the uh, that we could use to televise the uh, the series, and we're looking at looking at how we can do that. Yeah, I think the agreement has a has a multifaceted part with streaming, television, radio, a lot of different areas that it addresses, and so some of that. Um, but and ESPN three is a target. The NEI is trying to. Uh, create a relationship with for all sports, all championships, and so we're glad to be a part of that effort, but we need to be a part of it, and I think Dr. Fernandez made that clear to them how we wanted to cooperate, and I think we'll be fine there. Is that, uh, that that's probably not something that happened this spring, is that something maybe a little more long-term? I think if anything, if we have any um, exposure on ESPN3 this year, it'll be somewhat limited, but there's a chance there'll be some exposure on ESPN3 this, this coming year. I mean, you guys were just wrapping this up, but did they give you any idea um, if you, there might be a process like this down the road in in three years? I guess that's three years from now, but uh, did they talk about that at all? Or was no? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel are some of the main factors that the NAIA chose Lewis Clark State up till 2016? Well, I, I don't think it was just Lewis Clark State. It was the entire community. I think uh, when they see, uh, when, when uh, some of the officials, the NAIA, came here last year for the first time, although some of them had been here uh, several times, uh, they were uh, literally blown away. Uh, they, they, hadn't, they have not seen, I think, a championship in the NAIA that has so much involvement, not only with the college, but the entire community and the sponsors and major corporations and Avista. They were they were they were very much impressed with that. Also, the uh, the advisory group that we put together and that visited uh, Kansas City, and uh, we were supported by Avista tremendously uh, uh, to, to our, in our travel there, and uh, uh, local uh, community leaders. When we went there uh, as a college and as a community more than as a college, and laid out the kind of support that we've gotten by the local press. Uh, newspaper uh, on the air, uh, uh, video streaming, uh, the kind of exposure that these student athletes get at the Vista NAI World Series is something that they have not had in their entire collegiate career and that impressed the NAIA uh, tremendously. I mean for, for a week these student athletes feel like they're in the major leagues. I think too that one thing you have to as the, as the host understand about the NEI is they run 19 championships and they do a lot of championships is just one division of this association and so things that are obvious to us things that are obvious to the people that come they deal with far more sports than one they deal with 19 championships and so part of I, I think um, a learning curve for, uh, for me was we need to continue to constantly send the message of what's going on here to the NEI beyond just the NEI representatives that come here, to the NEI as a whole. Because I think there's some things about that visit and about that bid and about what we do that's not any different than we've been doing for a long time that, quite frankly, I'm not sure they really understood. So I think the bid process helped us uh, set, tell that story uh, to more people in the NEI, to more of the decision makers. So I think that was a benefit. Got a question in the back here, I think. Gary, have you hinted, um, mentioned to them about making this a permanent home for the NAI World Series, such as on all for the NCAA? Have you mentioned that to them? See if they'd be interested in it. Um, we didn't in this process. We have before. We will again try to um, in this agreement. Um, if you believe, if you believe in real long-term stability and growth. Uh, part of what has to happen is you have to form a strong partnership and so we're hoping to form that partnership a stronger partnership with the NEI in this contract and hopefully as we work through this we can get to a place where that discussion can take place but yeah it's 
something we've we've raised before we'll certainly raise again thank you can you also speak to agreements in the past now that we have this new phase going into effect can you speak to kind of what changes from from the, the you know the past agreements you've had uh, well, I don't see anything that with what we bid this time of any great change. Um, it's, it's maybe, I would say, uh, a moving along of the same path we've been on, maybe a progression in that same path. Because, again, our everything we provide, almost everything we provide, goes directly back to the student-athletes. So we're trying to make it better and better for them. So there really isn't any structural changes in what we, what we bid this time. Maybe more talk about like the process of what was involved before and the length of agreements and that sort of thing. As far as what's, is there any difference uh, there that you can speak to? Um, it's kind of a history lesson now, yeah. Nate. Um, let's see. I, I, I think every time we have secured the bid in the past, it's the time when we can talk about the length of the contract and the kinds of things Willard mentioned. This is the time. In the next year or two, is this kind? That's the time to to talk about longevity and but again you have to you have to show growth um, so I think um, I think the NEI was looking for um, in some ways in this process looking for Lewis Clark State to reaffirm what it's been doing but also looking for Lewis Clark State and the community to take a step in a positive direction and we did that the bid was the best bid we've ever made Gary I'm curious with the NEI and, and hosting the series before and not knowing whether it was going to be extended or not, were there any projects that maybe, with regard to Harris Field or the tournament in general, that you put on hold that that would only get done if the contract were extended? And, and what would some of those projects be? Um, Is there anything? You got about an hour, Brian. <laughs> 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 um, yes, is the best answer to your question. Um, and again that's part that was part of the bid process when we talked to the NEI that obviously the bid is the bid you submit the bid it's a package you turn it in but in in our discussion with them about our bid we talked about I guess our history tells us we have always said to the NEI the longer you commit to us the more we'll do to improve the facility the event in general so facility projects generally aren't small projects they're large I mean, I'll use the lighting project, the last large only $350,000. You'd like to know you have the tournament for a few years when you're asking people to support that size of a project. So, uh, you know, the kinds of things, I mean, it's always facility driven and event driven. And those kinds of things to make the event better sometimes come at a cost, sometimes they're not a cost, just a different or better way to do them. So, yes, we'll have a long term plan and we'll present ideas to the NEI about. We'll have some projects that we've talked about trying to get started in the near future as well. Gary, um, you know, in the past there's been some discussion about the format of the tournament maybe going to eight teams instead of ten. Can you say, does this agreement leave the tournament through 2016 at a ten-team double elimination tournament as it stands, or is that up for discussion? Um, early on in the process, I asked that question in the bit when we were bidding if if there was a potential we'd be bidding on something that may change. Um, I was told that um, there would be no change in the in the term of the initial agreement so in the next three years my understanding is that the tournament will and it speaks specifically to that in the contract the number of teams and the format um, I wouldn't say that precludes the NEI from if they want to make a change how they've addressed it in the past with us is anytime they've they've gone down a path of, a, of perhaps entertaining a change they've always said we need to, we need to bring a host along with us so um, depending on how the change goes, sometimes the change in format could be beneficial to the final site. Sometimes it can be more costly. So I think we're in a good place with it. I think we have a firm agreement on the format and any change. I feel like we would be part of any discussion of changing that. Thank you. Any additional questions? Well, I'd, I'd just like to uh, wrap it up, if, that, if that's sure. okay. That uh, Once again, I want to thank everybody that supported uh, the college and the community uh, to, to get the Avista NAIA World Series. And let's make this series, this year, uh, the best one we've ever done.